Hello everyone outside there that is watching us on BTN TV at the moment. Those who are following us right now, it is a pleasure that uh, you really do follow our program. We recognize your presence for those who are really following us every day and then, who put much effort to see that they come up and follow up these lessons for their understanding purpose or for their own benefit and our benefit as well because once children understand it is the benefit of a teacher that will not take a lot to explain much but when you forget everything it becomes hard for the teacher also to explain something small so I really appreciate whoever outside there commits himself or herself to follow these lessons. As usual, I'm Teacher Fred from Wisdom Center, Pujasala District, that is Kalumuna. I'm the Director of Studies. At the same time, P5, P6 teacher mathematics. We don't only end there. As we go to education department, or as our department, or as my department is concerned, we always ensure that hard work is done to enable our children understand and perform better. We mold our children morally and academically with the performance it is ever colorful. Just like for those who have been following us, I tried to give you a summary last time concerning our performance, I told you, like last year's national examination, we managed to come out with 90.5% with the D1s or the uh, Division 1, then only 9.5% percent in division two and of whom those who were in with 9.5 those who are in that category of 9.5 missed division one by one mark so we try our level best as god enables us perform yeah let's go back to today's issue that is not what we're looking at today's issue what us look at comparing numbers using less than or greater than or equal to as we are drawing our attention to the lesson of today should we feel like you want to ask anything concerning today's question as you are following always i have my contact that i refer you to would you wish to have a next statement would you wish to understand something concerning what we've done? Simply dial the numbers and send the message either through WhatsApp or direct inbox. I'll get back to you and answer you. So let's look at example one. What does it want us to do? They are saying using less than or greater than or equal to complete the mathematics statement or mathematical statement complete the mathematical statements complete the mathematical statements below the first one they have given us a as seven millions eight hundred sixty seven thousand eight hundred sixty seven they want us to use either less than or greater than or equal to to compare the two numbers the second number we have seven millions eight hundred seventy six thousand eight hundred sixty seven so i wonder how can we compare these two numbers how can we tell somebody that this number is greater than this and this number is less than this all these numbers are equal is what we are looking at specifically at this time so when you look at this number you look at this number this number 
we can't just look at them like this and we say this one is small, this one is small. No. We shall have to look at some common ideas that will help us to identify the biggest number and the smallest number. But before we come to those ideas that can enable us to pick the biggest and the smallest, I would like first of all to identify this to you. Put this in mind that a number is considered mostly by digits. A number with, the, with very many digits is considered as the biggest number compared to the number less digits or few digits. For example, when you look at this, you will see like we have 99, 9, 9, 9. Then when you compare with the number like this one, Actually, let me write it in front here. We have zero, 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 zero. So when you look at these two numbers, when you look at these two numbers, we have nine, 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 nine. We have one, zero, 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 zero. This is the first number. I'll call it A. This is the second number. I'll call it B. When you look at the two numbers in front of there, I would ask you to identify for me A and a B, which is bigger? Well, some people are saying A, some people are saying B. So I'll come in and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The, uh, B has got 60 digits. It has 6 digits. Then we shall come to A and I count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It has got five digits. It has five digits. So when you look at this, you realize that B has got more digits. So if it has very many digits compared to A, then B is bigger. This number here is bigger. This number here is bigger than this number here. The reason that's why we're saying this one is bigger, it has got more digits. Don't consider a number of zeros as being the least digit. Then you say nine is bigger. No. We consider the number of digits. The number of digits determines the number of place values. Meaning that if I have 199, you'll find out that you'll find out that the last zero on 109, they are in the same place value. That is it. Ones. Then the second zero and the second nine down, they are also in the same place value. That is tens. Then when you come to the hundreds, you'll find out that here in the hundreds we have one and at when we come to 99, we don't have anything. So we have here 0. So you say 0 and 1. Which one is bigger? You realize that 1. Because this one, we have. this is the biggest. So if this is the biggest, we can't say 99 is bigger than 100. It will be 100 is bigger than 99. Because this one has got 3 digits. It has got 3 digits. And this one has got 2 digits. So if this one has two digits, it means it is smaller than this. So three is bigger than two, meaning that 100 is greater than 99. We're saying 100 is greater than 99 because 100 reaches a place value of 100, while 99 doesn't reach 100. But when we add here one, when we add one on this, we shall also come to this number, meaning that this one is less. So let's continue with our first example and see what is supposed to be done. The first thing we are going to do, we are going to draw a place value chart. I'll come here and say, this is my place value chart. After drawing our place value chart, 
after drawing our place value chart, we shall divide it up to 100, uh, up to millions. Remember here there is nothing. Here we have 1,000. Then here we have millions. We said every, every, every box here, it has some two, uh, it has small three. Small ones inside like this. Meaning that every box has to take three digits. Every box has to take three digits. And those three digits are represented by this. We say ones, we say tens, a hundreds. Ones, tens, a hundreds. Ones, tens, a hundreds. So why are we saying ones, tens, a hundreds? Like now here when you have three digits here, we read the three digits of this place, then we add this. For example, let's first of all put the first number, and the first number will be seven, six, eight. We have seven, six, eight. Then when you look at this, it has gone in the second number. Then lastly, we shall have seven. Seven million, eight hundred, 67,867. The last two, two, we read them. The second number we have 7, 6, 8, 6, 7, 8, 7. Now, when we are dealing with the comparing, we begin from the smallest place value. Comparing, you begin from the biggest place value or the highest place value. So the highest place value in this case, we shall have millions. This is now our highest place value. Then we shall look at the digits. Don't begin from here. Begin from here. The highest place value. So from there, I'll come and identify this. I'll say under millions, I have... 7 for the first number and 7 for the second number. So here I cannot consider this. I cannot tell this which one is the biggest. This one is, and this one they are the same. So we shall leave this one and we come to the second box. When you come to the second box we have 8 and 8. Which one is big? They are the same. So if they are the same I will not consider them. These ones are the same I have not considered. This one's also the same, I've not considered. So I'm coming to the third one. The third one, I have here six, I have here seven. Yes, I have six, I have seven. Do you think they can be considered or they are the same? They are not the same. You realize that seven is bigger than six. So I'm going to consider these two here. Which one has the biggest digit? The one with the biggest digit is the highest. Now, for this case, we shall look at this. 6 and 7, 7 is bigger than 6, meaning that the second number is, uh, now this one we shall say, 6 is small. Then 7 is big, meaning that I will have to face the side of 7. Okay? That is the second number. So I will open this. In simple terms, this is what I always say. For those who don't differentiate these signs here, uh, you can also say 5 and 6. Then you say this one and this one, which one is bigger? Eh? For example, we say these are 5 cows, then we say these are 6 cows. Then they say go one side where you want. You just go to the side of 6. There, so I will say I'll open my mouth to 6. For those who always to interpret this in examination you open this sign to the biggest number then it will be read as if five is less than six meaning that if i have four seven uh seven cups this side i have two cups then they ask me which ones are many I will say, this one here, I will open my mouth to the biggest. You open the mouth, you open it. Eh? You open to the biggest side. That's what we mean by this sign. You open the side which is open, that number should be bigger than the side which is closed. 
What do I mean? This side should be small because it is closed here. Then where you have opened the two should be big. So I will say 7 is greater than 2. 5 is less than 6, meaning that 6 is big, so you have opened your mouth to 6. Then here, 7 is big, you have opened your mouth to 7. That is how we consider. Once you just see the big number, open the sign to that big number. The number which is supposed to be outside the sign is supposed to be smaller than the number which is inside the sign. For example, when you open the mouth to 7 cups, then this side 2 must be less than 7. Here we have opened to 6 because 6 is bigger than 5. Then what about, what about, what about if you have 700 thousand francs if you have seven hundred thousand francs then another person gives you eight hundred thousand francs they say you select eh? the only thing you need to do here is look for the biggest which one is the biggest when you look at this and this we say one two three four five one uh one two three four five six one two three four five six there are six six but now when you look at the highest place value, you realize that 8 is big. Now if 8 is big, open your mouth to 8. I will open my mouth to 8. So, I'm using the word mouth here. For those who always fail to interpret this in examination, what you do, simply open your mouth to the biggest number. Okay? That's what is required to be understood, you open this to the biggest size. So here, you realize that 7 and 8, 8 is bigger. So I'll open my mouth to the biggest side. In other words, we shall say, we shall apply a less than sign. Then we say 700,000 francs is less than 800,000 francs. That is what we are looking at. So let us look at this after identifying the number which is big where are we going to put our sign we shall put the sign in this side it we shall open the mouth to this second number and we say this number is greater than the first number or we shall say the first number is less this one means less so i'll say seven eight six seven eight six seven is less than seven eight seven six eight six seven so that is what we are supposed to do we shall just look at it then we know what we have to do you only open your mouth to the biggest number so for this case when we look at our place value chart we have realized that this seven is bigger than six because we have realized that this seven and this seven we don't consider because they are the same. When you come to this 8 and this 8, we shall not consider. They are the same. When we come to this 6, when we come to this 6, here, then we come to the next 7 here. Consider the 2. We shall consider this 2 here. This 2 here. Eh? When you check here, we have 1, 2. 1, 2. The first two digits are the same. So the third are not the same. So if they are not the same, we shall say 6 and 7, 7 is bigger. You open the mouth to the biggest side. Following place value chart. Then from there, let's look at number B. Number B, what does number B want us to do? Number B, they are saying 8, 6, 7, 3, 4, 8, 6. They want us to compare still using these various signs. And the next one we have 8, 6, 7, 3, 4, 8, 6. We have finished the first example. So the second example, we are looking at that. So we want to see how can we find out the second example using the same place value chart. What I want us now to look at. When you look at this, the second place value, the second number, say one, two, three, 
comma one two three comma one two three comma one two three comma let me add another digit here so we shall have that's the numbers and from there I want us to begin from the first digit then we arrange it and see what we have to do the first number here we shall have six we are going to arrange here then we see what to do six followed by eight followed by four followed by three followed by seven followed by six followed by eight followed by one then we shall come for the second number we say six followed by eight followed by four followed by three followed by seven followed by six followed by eight followed by one so when we look at this number here we have the first number and the second number we want to use these numbers to identify which number is smaller and which number is bigger than the other in this chart of ours, this uh, place value chart, you realize that every number or every digit has been allocated there. So I want us to begin. Sorry. I want us to begin from the biggest place value, and that is 10 million. Under 10 million, we have one and one. Which one is bigger? When you look at one and one, you'll find out that they are the same. So I will not consider anything because they are the same. I come to the second, eight, eight. What will I consider? Nothing because they are the same. Not, the next one, we have six here, we have six here. What will I consider? Nothing. Why am I not considering? Because they are the same. Then we continue. Here we have seven, here we have seven. And I will continue. The next place value, I have three, I have three. I will not consider this because... They are the same. They carry the same value. So I'll continue to the next value, which will be 4, 4. I'll not consider that because they carry the same value. Then from there, I'll continue. We have 4, 8 in this place value. We have 8 in this place value. I'll not consider anything because 8 and 8 carries the same place value. Then finally, I'll have the last ones as 6 and six meaning that six and six is the same so when you look at this these numbers here you realize that uh, there is no any number which is bigger than the other they are the same that's why they have the same digits so if they are the same i will say they are all equal they are all equal the first number and the second number they are all equal there is no any number which is bigger than the other they carry the same value. They are of the same value. So from there, I would like us also to continue. We look at the third example. That is Roman C. Roman C. Let me first remove this. So after this, after I didn't this, we shall have to go and look at Roman C. As we look at Roman C, put this in consideration. BTN is ever coming with lessons for us in this Betemic disease that is across the world. But as it is there, they have thought about us, and as they have thought about us as candidates outside there, and as semi candidates make use of the television at home and we shall achieve what we need so let's continue with the second number and we see what it really these people want us to do so in the second example i mean the third example i've been given different numbers i want us to arrange them then we see what we can come out with as well so the first one we shall have three followed by four Followed by eight, followed by four, followed by three, followed by seven, followed by one, followed by what have I jumped? I've skipped something. Yeah. I've skipped something. We are at eight. Then from eight we shall go to 
4, we go to 3, shall continue to 7, shall continue to 8, lastly 1. Then from there we shall come for the last number, whereby we shall have 1, we shall have 4, we shall have 3, we shall have 4, we shall have 3, we shall have 4. Then we shall have here 8, we shall have here 9, and we shall have here 8. So when you are given such a number, what are you supposed to consider? Once you are given like this, this is the simplest that you can do. First of all, look at it and see which side is having the biggest digit. Or which number has the, uh, the highest number of digits. The one with the highest number of digits is the one that qualifies to be the biggest number. So we, let's look at this. The first one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This one has got 80 digits. Then this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This one has 90 digits. So that one qualifies the second number to be the biggest number. Even when you come here, you realize that here we have 8, here we have 0. 0 is represented by nothing. So if we have 0 and 8, you realize that 8 is bigger. So number 2 will be bigger than number A. If number 2 than A, then I will open my mouth to the biggest number, which is the second number. And this will be read as 18,734,843 is less than 898,434,441. And from there, I will expect you also to follow the same procedure and work out different numbers that have been raised. As we continue, let's also look at number D. This is A, which you have finished, and at the same time B, we have looked at it. At the same time C, we have looked at also C. So I want us to look at D. I want us to look at D. What does D say? D is saying 8, 6, 7, 3, 2, and 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, comma, 9. So let's look at the next number, and we see what we are supposed to do. When you look at the first, the next number, we shall first of all count the digits. We shall say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The next, second number has 70 digits. The first number has 60 digits. Here the digit has 7 digits. So if this one has 7 and this one has 6, what does it mean? It means the second number is bigger than the first number. So what I will do, I will say, this number is bigger than the first number. We have to put that in mind. We are saying the second number is bigger than the first number, given the fact that the first number has very few digits compared to the second number. Let's look at A. And we summarize with it. So when we look at the next number, we still want to use the same to identify. But before that, we shall have to count the digits. We shall say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This number has got 60 digits. This number has got 60 digits. Then let's look at number, the second number. When we look at the second number, how many digits do we have? Somebody will come here and begin saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, that is not like that. There is one thing you have to know. Before reaching a counting number, the zeros which are here without a decimal point, they are useless. It's just having nothing then with a number. For example, how do you read this number in words? 
if they give you and they ask you they say read this number in words do you say zero million zero thousand uh, do you say zero million zero hundred thousand zero no 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 we can't read it in that way how do we read this in words reading this in words we have nothing here nothing here nothing 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 up to here so reading this in words 784 as simple as that 784 but we don't have a number here so how many digits are here here we shall have three digits these first zeros are just wasting our time there we cannot consider them but if it happened that it was like seven eight four zero 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 we could consider this this is okay and if it happened that we have like uh, one zero 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 four i mean seven eight four if we had the any counting number first it which we would also consider these zeros but we didn't have any counting number earlier so we shall not consider these zeros here they are nothing they are having they have nothing there so this is a three digit number so these are three digits. This one, these are three digits. Somebody outside there is saying, no, it is seven digits. No. If you want to read it as seven digits, read this in you realize what I'm meaning. In words, if somebody asks you to read this in words, you will say 784, meaning that there are three digits. These ones are nothing. These zeros are nothing. When we come to this, you will read it as 734, 734,333. These are 60 digits. These are 3 digits. So from there, I will say 60 digits are bigger than it is. Zeros are just there to bring confusion on your side. But they have nothing to do with the, what you are supposed to do. Lastly, but not least, for those who have been following us on BTN TV, we firmly and strongly advise you to keep the spirit of following our programs on BTN TV, which builds you and another person as well. Academically, it is building you who is watching us. If you're a student, one day, one time, what we do on the TV here may be useful and it may help you somewhere else. Keep tuned to our TV for your own purpose. So as I wind up, allow me to get some exercise or some activity for you also to work out and as the schools reopen, Make sure you deliver your work to the teacher, will guide you, will mark you, will tell you what is supposed to be done and what is not supposed to be done. Stay tuned always, never, never give up. So as we proceed, I want us to look at this. Just like I've said, everyone at least have to have something uh, to, uh, also to do before you realize whether what we have been going through you have understood or you've not understood. So at this time, I want us to look at the activity. And the first one saying, first, the, let's first look at the instructions, which says using less than or greater than or equal to complete this mathematical statement below. A, they have given us this number or this number. They want us to compare using these signs, either less than or greater than or equal to. Number two. They have also given us these two numbers us to compare them using still the three signs, either this one or this one or this one. You select one. But before you select one, make sure you draw on every number, draw a place value chart to help you to identify, just like the way we were doing. Draw a place value chart to help you identify which one is the highest number, which one is the lowest number and which ones are equal okay then at the same time number three they have also given you the same two numbers they want you to identify 
the biggest from the smallest and identify both the biggest and smallest. Lesson number four, they have said console had console had 23,434 mangoes and Angel had 342,347 mangoes. Among the two people who had more mangoes, so there again is a comparison. They have given you two people with different shares. The two people we have, we have for Angel and we have Console. The two people have different shares, different mangoes. So they want us to identify the number of mangoes that Console had, and at the same time the numbers, the number of mangoes that Angel has. So when we have, when we bring the mangoes that Angel has in one bracket here, then we bring the number of mangoes that Console is also having in another bracket uh, we have to compare them and we are going to compare these mangoes using the place value chart so you draw your place value chart you compare these mangoes and these mangoes then you'll have been in position to tell us that either angel so you'll be in position to tell us if angel got more mangoes than console or console got more mangoes than angel. You can use the words creator, greater than, or less than, or equal to. If you don't use that, you can use any of these three signs to give us the answer of these mangoes. After comparing consoles, uh, consoles mangoes and angels mangoes. Compare them, then use either less than or greater than or equal to to give the final answer. But remember, before you give the final answer, you are requested to use a place value chart before you'll be able to identify the number clearly. Allow me to summarize my lesson today. As I encourage every person outside there to always tune to BTN TV for good programs that help us push on more so academically and others came before this. For those who have been really following this TV station, you have really enjoyed it. There are so many good programs that, are, that requires you to watch them. I wind up by saying Stay tuned and much of our appreciation to our sponsors, including Director of Wisdom Center School from Bujesela District, that is Kalumuna, is where I'm serving as well. It's a good school with a good performance record. At the same time, it is a school that molds your child morally, spiritually, academically. We don't only stop on the part of academics and we leave other parts. No, we touch all areas. We have senior many teachers doing their part as the welfare of boys are concerned. We have our senior women teachers who are also doing the needful to guide our children, to bring children who are morally upright. We recognize our staff. They are so hardworking. They are really so focused towards the achievement or towards the success of your child. Please, parents outside there, trust us with your children. We shall mold them and you'll never regret. We mold them morally. We mold them academically. We mold them spiritually. Everything we are fully equipped. We have different staff 
that handles the different parts. And every part has an expert. When we come to senior women teachers, those senior women teachers are really experts of their area as counseling, are cons uh, as counseling is concerned to our girl child. Please trust us with that. When you come to senior men teachers, senior women teachers, senior men teachers, they also know what is supposed to be done. As the welfare of boys are concerned, they are really doing it. When you come to administration, administration is also strong enough, delicate, focused to see your children having morals, having good performance. We make follow up. If a child misbehaves, we have different ways of punishing a child. We don't touch a stick at any point. Once a child becomes a problem, we always call parents at school and we share the affairs. Please, parents, feel free and trust us with your children.